<laughs> okay, I know this video is coming out of nowhere, but I quit my first laboratory job as a generalist and I have some exciting news for to share with y'all for a life update. I was given an opportunity to go into a specialty. One of my short-term career goals was to focus my lab skills in one area, but for some reason, like I was strongly recommended against it several times. Multiple people told me to just remain a generalist because specializing may close a lot of doors down the line. But honestly, like being a generalist is not what I wanna do. And I'm a huge advocate for the idea that we should progress into roles that allow us to love what we do for a living or at the very least be fulfilled with what we do for a living. So I don't see anything wrong with specializing in the lab and that's my take on it. Another reason why I'm changing jobs is just the lack of work-life balance that I had. If you've watched my vlogs, you can see that I worked night shift and I did enjoy it, but um, working five to six nights a week was too much on top of expectations for overtime and stuff. Like I was so tired all the time and I felt like I was always at the hospital. Like I was struggling so hard to make that schedule work and it just wasn't possible. I basically went a year not able to spend time with my family, barely able to do stuff with my friends. I couldn't make plans with anybody. Like I couldn't do anything because I was working about damn near every day of the week at the hospital. I bought this concern up plus some other concerns that I had and the responses from leadership was kind of like, if you don't like how things are done here, there's the door and that's all right. You know, you ain't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> And another reason, I want to be able to progress in my workplace. I'm a very goal-oriented person. Like it's motivating for me to feel like I'm working towards something. And as I look towards the future of my job progression there, I was gonna be limited. There wasn't room for me to move into roles that I was interested in. So I felt like I was gonna be heading towards stagnancy. And that is not a place that I want to be in, especially this early. <laughs> You know, this early in the game, I don't want to be feeling stagnant anywhere. So right now, it's like I'm literally in the mindset that there's too many job openings out here. There has to be at least one job that can give me a better schedule, can give me the experience that I want to gain, can give me better compensation, and can support me in the way that will help me grow in this field. And there's absolutely no reason for me to settle for any workplace that will not provide me these things. So it was time to go, and I made the decision to quit. This was probably like October in November, so early November. I know it's the end of the month, but I had a lot going on. <laughs> as far as my life update, I am really happy to announce that I have accepted a position in clinical microbiology. As some of you may know, my first degree is in microbiology, so this laboratory position aligns more with my interest and studies, and I feel like it has a better outlook for me to grow so that I can take that steps towards building a career. I do think that timing is everything. So when I saw this position open up, baby, I jumped on it. I just knew it in my heart that it was gonna be a great opportunity for me to learn a whole new skill set outside of being a generalist. Of course, like looking back, I still gained a lot of experience while on night shift. It allowed me to grow my independence, like my confidence and decision making as a tech in a really short amount of time. So overall, I'm happy that I had the chance to be a full generalist, but that chapter in my journey is closing. I have already worked my two week notice. I gave myself one week hiatus to not have to work. So last week was my first time having off of work since I began working in a lab last year, last December. And I needed that, especially to have that time to readjust to living during the day since it's a day shift job. And I already began my job this week. So I'm currently going through orientation. And it's just so crazy that I can finally start my career in microbiology. And let me tell y'all why it's a huge deal for me. I graduated with my microbiology degree back in summer 2019. I set a goal for myself to get a job in microbiology or biotechnology like within five years. So I'm really proud of myself for reaching this goal. Not in a bragging way, but I literally remember back in 2019, I was a college senior and my undergrad advisor, she sat me in her office and told me that I could not make a career out of microbiology, let alone get an actual job in a STEM field and that I was chasing a pipe dream. And the gag is that she was a research microbiologist and STEM is already a field that lacks representation. So I never understood that level of discouragement. Um, and surprisingly, like she was not the only person telling me that I couldn't do it which is still so weird. It's not like I was shooting for stars. I was just, just wanted a job in micro. <laughs> so um, if you've ever been in a position for people to tell you that you can't do something in life, like constantly being torn down and given negativity about a simple goal, then you might understand where I'm coming from. 
but time and time again, people were telling me that I should give up. And I kid you not, I've been persistent for this goal for the past three years. I had little support in the form of mentorship, so it's been hard out here. And it's even harder to let it sink in that I got the job. Like, it feels like a prank, which is so sad to say. But, um, yeah, so what I'm about to share is a little embarrassing. I did apply to microbiology jobs out of undergrad for, like, biotech companies and pharmaceutical labs and, like, environmental jobs. Straight rejections because I had no experience. So, <laughs> plan A didn't work. I ended up getting a job teaching part-time microbiology and anatomy courses. So that gave me an opportunity to go back to school while I worked. So in 2020, I felt like studying medical laboratory science would make it easier for me to find a job in microbiology, so I went back to school. And then I graduated from med lab school last December, and I applied for microbiology jobs, and I, it was rejections all over again for not having experience. I even had a technical supervisor call me and proceed to laugh at me on the phone for having the audacity to apply to a job in micro right out of school. So I don't know. Um, Maybe it's just the region of the United States that I live in, but for three years, I ran into the old catch-22 of I can't get the job because I don't have work experience, but I can't get the job experience if no one will hire me. And this time last year, um, one lab manager had called me and said that the one thing I could do for myself was to get a year of experience as a full generalist in all areas of the laboratory to be competitive for any lab specialty that I wanted to go into in the future. So that's what I did, and uh, luckily, it worked and I'm rambling now, but I only shared all of this to say that if you have a goal for yourself, pursue it and do not let anybody tell you that you cannot do something. Don't let people discourage you. I know like working in the lab, somebody is probably saying, girl, it's just another bench job, but it's more than that to me. Like it's literally the start of me being able to love what I do for a living. Of course, I promise you, I don't like to work, but I love the science behind microbiology. And I love the potential impact that my, my new job can have on patients. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna stay a technologist forever, but it's a great start in the direction that I wanna go in my career. I do thank you guys for following my journey this far. I know this video may or may not come as a shock. As always, I welcome you to join me on this journey in the lab. I am heading into my next chapter where I'll be training in microbiology. I don't know how long it will take. I was told around eight months to a year to train all benches of microbiology. This includes everything for bacteriology, mycology, mycobacteriology, and molecular diagnostics. So that's exciting because it's exactly what I wanted to do in the lab. So yeah, um, as far as my channel goes, I have been documenting my journey for the last two years and I appreciate you guys for supporting me. As you can see, um, my channel is kind of just about sharing my career experience and I would love for my videos going forward to have more of an emphasis on my specialty now, but um, I also understand that some of y'all don't care about microbiology like that, so I do still plan to make helpful videos about medical laboratory science. But yeah, this is just an exciting time for me. And again, thanks for watching. Don't beat me up in the comments for specializing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'll see y'all later.